Hi family and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome. Please subscribe and be part of Didi family. We are going to have an amazing time here on my channel. But today I'm very excited because yesterday, yesterday my husband surprised me with a Natasha Denona palette. Yay! I was so excited because I haven't tried any product from the Natasha Denona and her palettes are most rated and very popular and Natasha Denona did came to Sephora here in Sweden and they only had three palettes they have the sunset palette the gold palette and their purple one palette I don't know what it's called but he bought me the sunset palette he knew that I really really wanted this palette and he I could return and change it to another maybe gold palette but I didn't do that because I watched the Caitlin Light video for a couple of months ago I think it's it's even a year ago where she compared these two this is the cute app from Colourpop and she said this is like a dupe for this palette and after that video I wanted this but it's too much money and I think the gold palette looks beautiful but you know I always wanted the sunset palette because I love these kind of shades and of course I kept it I didn't want to change it so if you're interested to see what makeup look I'm going to create then please keep on watching So my beautiful family, I zoomed you in a little bit, so I did open it, I did look at it yesterday, but I didn't swatch it at all. I didn't touch it because I wanted to do it in the video. So this is how the palette, this packaging is beautiful in real life, more beautiful than on the video. Or on the screen, this is the big mirror, and here are the shades. Can you see how beautiful they are? And here is the Colourpop palette next to it. There is definitely similarity. So let me know down below if you want to see a makeup look created with these two. Uh, like I did last time with the makeup, the subculture and uh, revolution icon, iconic division palette. But this looks stunning and I'm so excited to play with it. So... Ooh, I have so many things I want to create. I did dig my finger in this one. That's great. Let me swatch it. Ooh. I heard there is a little bit of fallout with a couple of all these shimmery shades, but I don't care. Oh my god, they are so beautiful. Really stunning. Let me swatch the yellow one. Oh, it feels like a butter. Now I understand why people love this palette so much. Because it looks stunning. Really looks stunning. Wow. The pigmentation is definitely there. So, let's create a makeup look. I don't want to wait anymore. Let's see. I'm going to take this from Sosu Esco 02 palette and I'm going to go in the Bermuda, 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 I don't know how to pronounce this shade here. And I did prime my eyes with the what it's called, the Wet n Wild primer. It's very opaque, this is very light shade. I saw Tati uh, creating a makeup look with this palette and she had this shade all over the eyelid and I'm definitely going to do that too. But I just want to have a base, you can't really see it on my eyes. Then I'm going to go in with the, with this dark Pauline, Pauline, nine? Pengin, Pen, Pen, I can't pronounce these shades, but this red shade here, and I'm going to go in this with the same brush, and I'm just going to be careful because they are powdery. Wow. Thank you. 
So I'm going to go into this orange shade that it's called Horizon. This shade here in the middle of the palette. And just blend it into the crease a little bit in this. Oh, wow, this is a beautiful shade. Oh my God. Then I'm going to go in back with the shade that we had, or the light one that we had in the crease, all, all, all over the eyelid, and blend a little bit above. I think this is a beautiful shade. And then I'm going to take this Sosu Esco 04 brush and I'm going to go into I know I, I can't pronounce this this dark brown shade. <laughs> Going to take this shade here I just dig my finger in it I need to do my nails and go over and a little bit above and blend into the corner Beautiful. I'm going to blend everything with a clean brush, Esco 03. And I am going to build it up a little bit more later. But right now, I actually want to take some shimmer shades. So I'm going to go in with the brush, I think, first, Esco 05, and take this shade here that it's called. Morgana, Morgana, this shade down here. See how this is going on with the brush. I've seen people prefer uh, liking uh, this shade with fingers, but. Oh, wow. It goes on nice with the, with the brush, but it has a little bit of fallout. So I'm going to take my finger stand. Beautiful shade. I could definitely do a cut crease, but I'm not going to do that. Let's go into this beautiful mandarin shade that I'm most excited about. This shade here, and not most, but I really like this pink also down here. Pink looks stunning. I want to put it all over my eyelid. So, I'm going to apply it next to this one, some fallout. Let's try the finger. Such a beautiful, beautiful shade. So, I'm going to clean my brush and then I'm going to go in the, this shade. It's called Albate. Ob so bad at names. But this shade here. I'm going to try the brush again and see how that goes. Nope, doesn't go with the brush. Let's use the finger. I don't mind using my fingers. I always do that. My nails just go very long, so I need to fix them. But let's take this shade and apply it. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to go back in that uh, mandarin shade that we had in the center just to kind of build it up more. Oh, wow. It really looks like sunset on my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with this brush again and take that red that we had in the crease and just kind of blend here just a little bit 
So what I really, really want to do is go back with that dark brown shade. Dock it up just a little bit. The edge. There is a, some fallout, so I will definitely do this next time before I apply my foundation. With the clean o, Esco 05, not Esco 04, I'm going to go in this shade. This is called Cine Sanai. This shade here, and apply it under my eyes. Then I'm going to take this uh, Technique kind of big eyebrow brush and go into this ice gold shade, this white one, it's shimmery, and I'm going to Actually, I want to wet it so I don't bring it to so clean this brush and go back into that dark dark darkest brown that we had and apply it very close to my lower lash line and then I'm going to blend. These are very the easiest shade to blend. And then we're going to clean Esco 04. Really love these brushes. The only brushes I've been using for two weeks now. And go into that shimmery white that we had, ice gold. And apply it. Oh wow. Just a little bit under the eye problem. And the makeup look is done. I'm going to do the I'm going to apply mascara and I'll be right back. So this is the final look. I really like it. I think it would be a perfect spring palette, spring makeup look. I really, really love how easy these are to blend. And actually, I think I did kind of already have shade everywhere, but I really love this palette. I love every shade in here. I haven't played with a couple of these, but I'm definitely going to create more makeup looks. And please let me know down below if you want me to, to do, uh, to compare these two, the Cute F uh, with the Sunset palette. I think there is some sil similarity. Uh, I've seen that Kathleen Light video, so there is already a video up there, but let me know if you want to hear my opinion. Uh, I did play with this the first time I got it. Haven't, haven't used it for a long time. I do really like this palette. And I'm a palette collector, so I won't throw palettes away if I really don't like them anymore and they are expired, like expired, expired. But I am in love in this palette. I was so happy yesterday when I opened the package and um, I'm glad that I kept this one and didn't re change it to gold palette. I do think the gold palette looks amazing. Uh, it's just... I think it's just that, that I really, really wanted this sunset palette and I do think this is more now for spring. So really, really like this. I'm definitely going to continue playing it. Uh, it's very expensive. Uh, the pack packaging is stunning. Stunning. I love this shade. I think uh, if you have money and you like eyeshadow palettes, of course, you can invest in this palette. Though there is probably a lot of palettes with similar shades. And uh, I 
I just like it and I'm glad that I have it finally here. It, Natasha didn't know, just arrived to Sweden for like a couple, maybe two, three months ago. And uh, we have, haven't been able to purchase her products. Yes, maybe from her website, but the shipping cost and other costs that comes with the shipping are too expensive. This will cost me like two pallets. It would cost me like two pallets. So, uh, but I'm very glad that Sephora here in Sweden finally got it. I'm kind of curious to try the uh, green one. Safari palette, really, I really like that sh shade range. Would like to have that in my collection. I'm very happy, very happy with this makeup look. Uh, thank you so much for watching everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. Don't forget to hit that like button and press the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. It's three, time, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And guys, thank you for watching. Mwah. Love you. See you in my next video.